I'm Kurt Stuffler from Palm Bell, Pennsylvania. Bought this truck new in 1980, Youngstown Kenworth. Pulled flatbed, pulled reefer, worked for Chemical Lehman for a few years, back to flatbed. 13 years ago, we put new frame rails in it, do all our own work. It's a 400 Cummins, big cam three. Did you spec it out? Or did you no, I bought it off the lot at Youngstown. It was uh, tan with three shades of bronze on it originally, and then it faded, and you couldn't get the polish out, so then we had it painted blue, and then when all we... Blue? Uh, all blue? and then we changed it to white and blue when we put the new rails in it. I painted that. That's old Ford blue, the blue. I figure if I add something to the truck, I can get an aerosol can of tractor supply and touch it up, you know. But now I all just steal again. Pull a step deck. I got a book in there. I write every. I can tell you each wheel bearing how many miles is on it. I write down everything I do, the mileage, the date. What's the mileage of the truck? It's. It's. I'd have to add it up. It's a little over three million. Are these some custom fenders? This is here? from Morocco fenders in um, Somerset. Pretty nice fender. It's they, it's, like they're going anywhere. No, no, it's pretty solid. I mean, it needs freshened up paint wise, but. Uh, when is the last time you painted it? 13 years ago. Well, I touched the frame up a little bit, but uh, underneath the fifth wheel really gets bad with all the calcium and the corrosion. What was the first truck you ever drove? Uh, well, the first one I ever drove was a Louisville Ford, pulled a coal bucket for a guy. And then my first truck I bought was a 71 cab over Kenworth with a 335. Then I bought a 77 conventional single bunk. Ran that for three years, and then I bought this 80. And I only got like two more payments. What was the price when it was new? 68000 I wonder what that would be now. Oh, man, I don't know. Probably two sixty-eight. I don't. I don't know. This is Flatbed Red from the Future interrupting your program to let you know that $68,000 in 1980 is equivalent in 2024 to $274,507. The steps on an A model are not for short people. I refuse to put a lower one on because that means I'm getting too old to get in a truck. I know you already told me the story, but now that you have a microphone on, could you please tell that one again? All being stopped by a little DOT guy. Yeah, I had a wide load on coming out of Newcastle, and he was sitting in the middle at the red light. He was going to walk back and stop me, and the light turned green, so I just waved to him as I went by him, and he chased me down in his cruiser. And he come walking up to get my logbook and, and my permit, and went to throw his foot up on the step in the truck, and he didn't realize how high it was, and he missed it. Fell and hit his head on the door, knocked his hat off, and hit his shin on a step. He was decided I was good enough I could go. So that was, that was really good. Probably let you go. Oh, he was, he was, he was hurting. He was hurting. Yeah, little fella. We're not a good housekeeper. Did you paint the roof? Yeah. Uh, I put, I, I had, it had padding on it, and I, I took the padding down, and then I just had my buddy, my buddy Billy Trent painted the whole truck. He was a truck driver. We were both on Jones Motor, and he said he'd like to paint my truck. He painted a couple pickups, and I thought, well, what's the worst could happen? It wash off, right? But it stayed on here 13 years. Really, really a good truck. Still got to roll the windows down to shut the door, pretty much. Do you get a lot of attention? Uh, yeah, you do from the older guys. Not too many guys drive the same truck 44 years. You have my friend Kevin beat. I think his is an 87 that he has had since new. It's a Freightliner. It's also white with a blue roof cap and blue fenders. Nah, it's a, it's a good truck. I, I wish I'd have bought two when I bought this so I'd have a one now, you know, nice one. After that much time together, does it have a name? <sighs> Just, no, not really. I said, we were out at Mount St. Helens right before it blew up. A cop pulled me into the way station. I stood in there and looked up at that smoke and away. I said, you ever think it'll blow up? And the next week it blew up. So 
Can he write you a ticket for that? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm glad I got out of there before it did blow up. 